what turned my life around? I sat in a hole for 11 months. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Spirituality. I had, I was taught Christian ways, so I had a Bible. And I had my traditional ways I was taught on songs and prayer. And you have no one around you, no Christian telling you, no tradition, it's that relationship. And that came, the three things I learned. Forgiveness. Someone out there forgave me. And it's that spiritual aspect, that connection. And someone out there loved me. Because where I found myself was loved. Because of what all I've been through, I could have died. I could have been a dad. I could have said, he died of alcohol. He died in an alcohol death. Or he died some type of related with alcohol. Or he's locked up the rest of his life. So someone forgave me for everything I went through. And I can, all right. And someone loves me because you're still here. You're alive. And I've been in a lot of car accidents and a lot of, you know, fights. But, you know, I don't you know, what the heck, what the hell are we fighting for, you know? Do we remember drunk? But, you know, those things, those combinations, sitting there, you know, 11 months, you don't, you know, don't talk to your family 15, mu 15 minutes out of a month, you know? And, how, you know, and just thinking about what your family's done for you and what the creator's done. And the last thing, I am thankful. And that's what put everything together. And when I first got out of that, that system, they sent me out, kicked me down the road. If there was a temptation right away, I lived. I know Denver. I grew up in Denver. And there was a whiskey bottle on the shelf, and the guy was passed out. And I knew the scenario. His out, he passed out. It's his drink. I could grab that, walked out, and took off, start drinking. But I didn't, because I knew that was not the lifestyle I, I want to live anymore. I knew that the lifestyle that's not where the Creator wanted me to be. I knew I had a better lifestyle now. But I had to take that step to just say, no. But as children, we don't know those things. We don't. We think it's OK because we see an individual doing that and having fun. I thought the same thing. I could do all these other things and still drink and use. But it didn't work out that way. And I could have been the data statistics where this Indian person's gone and, you know, well, another Indian gone. You know what I mean? Not a drunken Indian. You know, but I, I could have died of alcohol, I didn't. And that's when I started my journey. And that was in 2010. That was my last, uh, my last drink. But it took 2000 to 2010 to even get that far. To say, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with drinking, I can't quit. But that many processes, learning all the time, boom, boom, boom. Traditionally, treatment center, yeah, you can't do that. You know, but I don't think like that. That's what I said. I don't think the way you do. You know, and Christian, I don't think like that. You know, go do an altar car or do this treatment, these 12, you know, it's just like, they don't make sense to me. But yet, the Creator knew I was searching and looking and struggling. And yet, as I got where I was, it was finally that point that you're still learning. That's just the beginning. I quit one thing that was out of my life that could destroy it. I had diabetes. When I went in, I didn't, came out, I didn't. I don't have diabetes no more. Change of lifestyle. I do yoga. I learned yoga wasn't when I was inside because I was reading and studying about meditation. And that helped. See, there was nothing about my being an Indian. <laughs> Type of Indian, but not the real. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I learned yoga. I've been doing yoga for five years now. I do weight training. I, I still work out. I work on my diet and eating, but you know, but those things have changed. A lifestyle has changed. And it, when you're young, and you see someone doing that, that's why I say mentorship is very important. And you're watching me. You think that's fun, but you look at their. I told my children this. You look at their lives down the road. You see where they're at. I could have been the same thing, but it came back around where I'm at today.